Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Once again, this is Hectarius, Witch of the Realms. For today's video, we're going to be doing our reading for the Dark Moon, August 27th, 2022. So if we take a look in the Witch's Almanac, we can see that this Dark Moon is on a Saturday, August 27th. And we have on the 29th, Hold Magic Close. So heading into this dark moon, I really feel this build up of psychic, intuitive connection. We know that the dark moon is the time of divination and prophecy, introspection, connection with the inner self, inner wisdom, inner guidance. The dark moon always represents this energy. But for some reason in particular, I feel this really strong build up to connecting with Hecate, connecting with Source, connecting with Spirit, and really getting in touch with the psychic power, the psychic energy within. I feel like this is going to be a very intuitive moon. And I feel like a lot of people will be getting messages and communications and contact with the spirit realm. Whether if that's through your own intuition and your own psychic insight and inner guidance, inner compass, or if it is actually spirits communicating with you, your gods and goddesses, your deities, your ancestors, maybe even, I feel like ancestors would be coming through a lot. We are heading towards Samhain as well, starting to get into that vibe too. I've been feeling a lot of that energy coming along. And building up but the theme seems to be one of empowerment with this so whatever this intuitive psychic connection is this awakening this stirring of these energies I feel like it's all about empowering you empowering us in that energy it's almost feeling like a reconnection to once again reconnection to source reconnection to Hecate reconnection to whatever spirits you work with, whatever your inner guidance is, whatever your psychic abilities are. It feels like a reconnection and a reawakening of that energy and how that empowers you at this time. Your inner vision will become very clear with this energy. You're going to know who you are. You're going to know what you're doing. You're going to know what you want. Through this awakening energy, through the stirring of this psychic energy, I feel like it's bringing in clarity that's been lacking for a long time. That's really largely what I'm feeling with this, psychically. So with that said, let's look at the astrology. I'm gonna bring up the star chart app as always. So we can see on August 27th, the dark moon will be conjunct to the sun in Leo. And Venus is there as well inside of Leo. So this is a very powerful and auspicious energy. Venus brings a lot of good fortune and abundance, blessings, love, light, good favor, good business, blessings in your relationships, in your love life, in your career, in your social sphere, right? That romantic energy, it's a little bit fantastical sometimes but it also can be grounded. And with this new moon, with the sun in Leo, the sun rules Leo. So it's a very powerful solar energy. Leo's the energy of fame, self-image, self-presentation, self-worth, self-knowledge, self-expression. Leo is the sign of the sun and all of that life-giving power that radiates from within us. It's really a blessing that we receive by giving it. Our self-expression, something that we give to the world and then we receive from it as well. And it's very important to touch base with your self-image every once in a while. We change over time, our inner compass, our spirituality, our desires, our goals, who we are, we change over time. And it's important to make sure that we check in with ourselves and make sure that we are reflecting in our image and our presentation and our body, 
who we are at any given point in our life. So that's something to think about too with this. And I'm bringing this up as well because also we have, once again, the dark moon is conjunct with the sun in Leo. And the moon brings that inner world, the inner reality, the spirituality, the emotions, the psychic mind, the mental sphere, the emotions, the subconscious, the empathy. So this is a powerful balance to the solar energies in Leo. And that's why I was bringing up this need to touch base with yourself, reflect, introspect, look within who you have been becoming, who you are now, and see if there's something that you need to change to reflect who you are and the message that you represent, the self-expression that comes from within. With Venus also being here, this could be a call to some sort of change that you need to make. Once again, with these interchanges and making sure that your outer reflects the inner, maybe you need to do that for some sort of advancement in your love life, for some sort of advancement in your social sphere or progress in your career, something like that with Venus being there as well. Could be what's going on there. I just realized that this camera was not focused. So with that said, let's go ahead and get into the cards and see what they have to say. For this reading, I will be using the Star Spinner Tarot. I'm going to pull three cards from this. And I'm also going to use the Wood and Bone and Path Unknown Game Runic Oracle. And I'll pull a Rune card. I'm really feeling myself with this energy and this build up to this Dark Moon and with it being in Leo and all of that. Um, I feel like that's something that we are sort of all touching base with. Now I align myself with the Most High God and the Holy Spirit Hecate. Please communicate the truth to me through these cards so that I may be guided for the highest good of all. Thank you and some it be. Please give us your divine guidance for this dark moon, conjunction of the sun and the moon and Venus and Leo. At this time, is there anything that we need to know or do or be aware of for our highest good, greatest success and joy. Please give us your divine guidance now. Thank you and so would it be. So I'm assuming this is really powerful energy. Oh my gosh. Don't you guys know my favorite card came up? Look what we have. My favorite little fat bunny king of coins. So this is our first card. With the King of Coins, there's an energy of pragmatism, politics, business savvy, business connection, business deals. The King of Coins is that energy. It's a boss energy. The King of the Earth element. The King of Coins. Okay. This is about doing the work, being the boss. So there's a lot of responsibility with the King of Coins, stability, reliability, being reliable for yourself, okay? So this will be a time when, like I was saying with the astrology, that Venus energy brings in a lot of good fortune, a lot of abundance, a lot of blessings in business and in your social sphere and in that social energy and that translates to good business. So if you are employed in some sense where you get commissions or you earn extra revenue, if you could get some extra hours in your job, work overtime, this would be a time for that. If you are self-employed, this will be a time to maybe do a sell, do some offers. You get a lot of business with this energy. A lot of abundance, a lot of good fortune, and a lot of money. And not just money, but also this could be good health. This could be physical possessions, material gain. It doesn't have to be money per se. So this could also represent trading things, making bargains and deals in that sense. And I will say this could be also to do more specifically with health. This could be a time where you are going to see an upturn in your physical health and your physical body's well-being as well with that Venus energy it's very healing it's very nurturing and the king of coins is very healing and nurturing it's very fatherly 
and nurturing. With the earth element, it represents the body, the home. There could be updates to your house for the better, for the longevity. There could be something to do with your health for the better with this energy as well. And it could also be saying that you need to take the initiative with that to make things better yourself. This would be a great time to do so. Our health is our wealth. Remember that. The next card is the hanged man. Okay, this is all about things need to be reviewed. We are also heading towards Mercury retrograde next month. I believe it's on September 10th. So we're heading into that. Mercury is already slowing down at this point before it starts retrograding. So with that in mind as well, that correlates with the dark moon and that introspective energy, right, with the Mercury retrograde. So that also correlates with the hanged man. Reevaluate, be introspective, look within, really mull things over, be deeply considerate of your options of you know whatever it is for you with these energies that you need to be considering right now think deeply about things and with these king of coins energies with this career stuff this business stuff or relationships family home life health like i said whatever that energy is for you at this time deeply think about these things and allow yourself to dream up new ways of doing things and dream up new realities for yourself as well with the hanged man because we think of odin hanging on yggdrasil to gain knowledge and wisdom that's one of the main archetypal stories with the hanged man energy so there's a deep thought there's a deep consideration of things and how that leads to powerful insight this is also a card of sacrifice and surrender and that can pair with the king of coins when you think about bargains and trades as well there's a trade-off to things right something that you can do like i said maybe you work overtime that's a trade-off but you get something out of it but you give something into it right or if you're self-employed maybe you offer a special deal to your clients or you offer a sale so there's a give and a take with that too so you need to weigh how the benefits can outweigh the cons with certain things right with this energy maybe it's even something with your health like dieting exercising there's pros and cons to that we all know it so think about that too like I said, these are the general readings, these are the general energies, and you need to figure out where it applies for you and your life at this time. The final card is the Chariot. So with the Chariot, we have a card of discipline. Right? We're the charioteer. We're the one that's directing these horses, or in this case, cats to go the direction that we want. So this is about taming your animal instinct, taming yourself, self-discipline, self-mastery, and how you need to take the reins and take charge. So this King of Coins energy, this Venus energy, this Venus and Leo energy, if you don't do anything with it, it can pass you by and you'll miss your chance. So with the chariot card, it's like, listen, take control, take charge, take the initiative with this energy, do something with it, do something with yourself, do what you can do, put in the work once again with the king of pentacles, the king of coins, be the boss, take on this boss energy. Let's go ahead and pull a rune card and see what other insight we can get for this reading. Now I align myself with the runes, the spirits of the Aesir. And the veneer, spirits of the Norse path, please come forward now and communicate to me the truth of these cards so that I may be guided for the highest good. Thank you and so let it be. Please give us your divine guidance for this dark moon conjunct the sun and Leo with Venus. 
Is there anything else that we need to know or do or be aware of at this time? For our highest good, greatest success and joy, please give us your divine guidance now. Thank you and so much. So the rune card that we got is Tiwaz. Tiwaz is part of the third eight. These runes are governed by the warrior god Tyr, who willingly lost his hand while binding the cosmic wolf in rear. These runes deal with sacrifices to better oneself and for the greater good. The third eight reflects social matters such as interactions with family and other kinfolk, home life, beliefs, and personal growth. Now this specific rune, Tiwaz, is the rune of Tyr, the god who battles and binds Fenrir the Great Wolf and ends up losing his hand in the process. So once again, the theme of sacrifice to achieve a goal comes up with this card, right? Like I was saying with the hanged man. Sometimes you have to give something in order to get something for the greater good, whether that's for the greater good of yourself or for other people, for your family, for your loved ones. This rune represents warriors. It's the rune of the warrior. It's symbolized as a spear. This is an energy of reflection, strategy, knowing a sacrifice is necessary for a victorious outcome, and knowing that anything is possible if you put your mind to it. The divinatory meaning of this card is bravery, strong will, victory in battle, sacrifice, understanding, justice, strategic approach. So that really is a nice little summary of a lot of what I was saying with this reading so far. These themes of discipline, boss energy, sacrifice and surrender, that awareness of the things that you need to do in order to get to the end goal that you want, the work that you need to put in the sacrifices that you need to make to get to where you're going and how this whole process can be a benefit to yourself but also to your social sphere, to your family, to your loved ones and the need for discipline, this almost warrior-like discipline with the chariot, the mastery of the self and the path that you're taking. So I feel that Tiwaz has shown up here to give encouragement with this energy. Maybe use this rune and some spell work designed around your goal and your agenda, whatever that is for you at this time, this dark moon. And like I was saying, with the sun and the moon being in Leo, this could be a time where you need to also almost rebuild yourself from within. I do feel like I was saying with the psychic part of this reading, you have changed, you have grown, you have maybe gone in some new directions, opened some new doors, maybe some things have come to an end, some doors have closed, you're not who you used to be, you're not on the same path that you used to be on. Things shift, we change, we evolve over time, and we need to allow ourselves to move forward. Oftentimes the inner self, the inner work, the inner path is ahead of the outer, right? So this is a time where we need to catch up to the changes that we've made within. We need to let our outer self catch up to that, our outer surroundings, our outer world, our image, our actions, our presentation, our strategy, the way that you carry yourself forward, okay? It's time for this change to take place and there won't really be progress until you accept that with the hanged man card being in the middle of the spread. There's a need for some sort of shift in consciousness. And I really do feel like it's about letting your outer self and your actions, your current actions, your current path come into alignment with the inner changes that you've been undergoing. Okay, so I'll say it like that. And with that said, that's gonna be the end of this reading. I hope that it helps you. I hope that you have a lovely dark moon get in touch with whatever this energy is and allow it to guide you and embrace it fully because with the hangman it's like it, there's this teetering on the edge 
between the old life and the new life, the old path and the new path. You know that your old path has pretty much run its course and you're going in a new direction. Your soul's already going that way. You can feel it. You feel that call, you feel that pull. It's inevitable energy. So don't cling to the past. Don't hold on to it. Let it go with grace and gratitude and walk boldly into this new path. You have to with the chariot and this encouragement from Tiwaz. Be bold, be the warrior. So that's going to be all for this reading. I hope that you have a lovely dark moon. Please make sure to like and leave me a comment down below if this reading was beneficial to you. And if you would like to get in touch with me for a private reading or for personal spell work, you can do so through the methods below in the description box. If you would like to join my Patreon and have access to all of my private video lessons and courses on advanced witchcraft and my Gnosis with Goddess Hecate, the link is down below in the description box as well. And that's going to be all for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. As always, until next time, hell Hecate, hell to the witches, and blessed be.